मैं राफाद अलैक्म वरहत ला वरक मैं ज़ुबैर खान हूँ और आप मेरा वीलाग देख रहे हैं my analysis is based on my knowledge judgment and experience south africa will win a cease and desist order against israel for a uh, genocide against the palestinians so this order when it comes down could have uh, very significant consequences for israel well at that point the entire world will know that israel is inflicting genocide against the palestinians and under article 1 they will have an obligation quote to prevent unquote the genocide against the palestinians uh, i believe that the uh, republic of south africa will then take the order to the security council for enforcement uh it appears so far that the united states government would exercise a veto power to prevent the security council from enforcing the order which it's supposed to do under the terms of the united nations charter but at that point then south africa can take the order to the united nations general assembly for enforcement under the uniting for peace resolution and that could produce the following consequences for israel first the general assembly could suspend israel from participation in united nations activities exactly like the general assembly uh, suspended the criminal apartheid regime in south africa at that time and the genocidal yugoslavia from participation in the united nations organization second the general assembly could admit palestine as a full-fledged un member state right now palestine is a un observer state like switzerland but the votes are there for it to be admitted as a full-fledged un member state historically no un member state has ever been destroyed and that's exactly what the zionists want to do to the palestinians destroy them so un membership i think would would protect them third the general assembly could set up an international criminal tribunal for israel as a subsidiary organ under uh, uh un charter article 22 uh the international criminal tribunal for the former yugoslavia was set up by the security council but the the general assembly can do the same and they could uh start to prosecute high level israeli officials for genocide war crimes crimes against humanity against the uh palestinians and then finally the general assembly can recommend comprehensive economic sanctions uh against Israel right now as you know north korea uh suffers from near genocidal economic sanctions uh, against it that were imposed by the general assembly under the uniting for peace resolution the, uh, uh donahue is a career long uh state department operatic and legal hatchet person i am certain <clears throat> that she is right now telling the united states government about all the behind the scenes maneuvers there going on at the hague and will keep them informed second unfortunately the president of the court has a lot of power to shape the legal proceedings and i'm sure she will shape the legal proceedings in favor of israel and the united states and against the republic of south africa if you read article 3 of the genocide convention paragraph 3e criminalizes complicity in genocide and certainly the biden administration has been aiding and abetting and complicit in uh, the zionist genocide against the palestinians this also violates the us government's own genocide convention uh, implementation